I have tried recording this like five times. So let's see if I don't hate what I'm saying this time. Breach of Peace is the first book by Daniel Green, a YouTuber on this platform who pretty much does fantasy book reviews. That is well beside the point for this. This book is awesome. I love it. And also I bought this with my own money. This book, in my opinion, is an absolutely amazing start to a series. I know that there are two more novellas coming out later this year that I think are going to continue the story that this one started. I don't know that for a fact, but I believe that's what he has said. And personally, I cannot wait. I think those are going to be awesome. This book just has a lot of fun characters in it. Uh, the main character, Clid, I believe that's how her name is pronounced. She is an inspector, I believe, on what is this world's police force. And following her, I think, is amazing. Apparently, this police force is extremely corrupt from how I understand it. It's being said in the books. Uh, the world kind of views these cops as they can do whatever they want, whenever they want. And so they're given a hell of a lot of leeway in what they can and can't do to the point that some of them will beat up people while they are off off duty and not get repercussions for it which is not good that that is a bad thing and it is very framed as a bad thing though the seventh precinct isn't like that uh what, what i mean is the seventh precinct isn't nearly as bad shit in terms of beating up people while they're off duty with lid explicitly saying that she hates when that happens i think they're saying something to the effect of that shouldn't happen. Yeah, the government in this world is kind of fucked. Uh, they are basically a religious monarchy. The religion rules the land, if that makes sense. They use the fear of the gods to their advantage to keep the people in check because in this world, the gods are known. And the reason they are known is because of the existence of the anointed, which is one of the two magic systems in this world. So far, we have only seen the anointed to any extent, and I am personally excited to see where that goes in the future because oh my god they are absolutely insane and i think that is awesome the way they're described is moving and how they look just sounds awesome the, the strength and energy that they are described as having is just crazy i am super excited to see where they go in the future but yeah other things about this book that i like the character of chapman uh, he is a lot of fun chapman is one of those characters who always has a plan for what he wants to do and how he wants to get out of a certain situation uh, with his schemes culminating in the climax of this story and oh it was so much fun the way he interacts with lid and the rest of the cast is awesome it's a lot of fun. I found it super enjoyable. Yeah, the fight scenes. Ooh, the fight scenes also are really, really well done. There aren't a ton of action scenes, but when there are, the way they're described and written is really, really well, in my personal opinion. I found myself enjoying every, pretty much every minute of me reading this. It was a lot of fun. The characters I found extremely entertaining. Some criticisms that I have. This does feel like just the first third-ish of a story. Now, it feels complete. It feels like a complete book, but it doesn't feel like the story is over and it 100% feels like, like the next two books are going to be needed to truly tell the story that Daniel's trying to tell. I'm pretty sure he said that that was intentional on his part because he wanted to be able to take criticisms from the first book and apply them to the next two, which I, I respect. I have respect for the fact that he was willing to do that i do think it will be interesting once the next two come out to read all of them back to back to get the entire story that'll be fun other criticisms that i have uh chapman at certain points wasn't super well defined in my personal opinion like i said he's a lot of fun the entire time but considering where we start the story we don't have a ton to go off outside of we don't have a ton to go off for his character outside of him and another character are basically rivals and that he's a bit of a jackass but certain reactions that characters have to him i felt didn't work super well that's just my personal opinion on it spoilers are a thing that i don't want to do there's one point where a character's reaction feels a 
little bit over the top, if that makes sense. But that was just the first time I went through it. Uh, going through it again and thinking about it with how it's described, it kind of makes sense in the context. It's just at the time, it felt slightly off to me. I don't have too many major criticisms. I thought this book was really, really well done and well executed. It's a lot of fun to go through. It, it was extremely entertaining to read. At the end of the day, I don't have too many criticisms of this book. I thought it was really, really well executed. I think some of the character dynamics could have been a little more defined just so that I could understand them a little bit better the first time through. Though, once you think about it, it does make more sense. Again, I'm very excited to see where the story goes from here in the future because I think that these books are going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, this book is a lot of fun. I find it highly entertaining. And if you haven't read it, go do it. I think it was a very solid start. And I'm really excited for later this year when the next two come out. Also, if you are Daniel and for whatever reason watching this, hi, please don't be mad at how I think about your book. But yeah, I'd say for me, this book rolls a solid 15. Yeah, no, this book rolls a 15. Highly entertaining. It's a lot of fun. And if you haven't, read it, I would personally suggest going to do that because it is a really solid book. Those are my personal opinions on Breach of Peace. If you felt differently, by all means, tell me how you feel in the comments and all that. But yes, I thought it was highly entertaining and I had a lot of fun with it. But yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for now, guys. I hope that you all have a fantastic day. And as always, peace out, guys.